More than two weeks after the attack on the Capitol, authorities continue to identify and arrest those involved. From retired firefighters to college students and even elected officials, the nationwide dragnet now putting a spotlight on extremism and how it fueled an insurrection. If you attempt to overturn and overrun our democracy through violence or uprising, you will pay the price. As a result of the Capitol insurrection, New Jersey Congressman Josh Gottenheimer announced a new legislation that will double the maximum jail sentence penalties from 10 to 20 years. He's also leading a bipartisan call to restore the Office of Community Partnerships within the Department of Homeland Security that was designed to counter violent extremism. An office reorganized and shelved during the Trump administration. There is nothing partisan about fighting insurrectionists. There's nothing partisan about stopping terrorists on our homeland. The congressman cited federal data that shows a surge in domestic terrorist attacks, most of which have been carried out by white supremacists. And at some point also acknowledging that social media platforms like Parler have assisted them in organizing. They use it to organize events. They use it to sell merchandise and in some cases to promote violence. As the investigation into the siege on the Capitol continues, evidence that suggests a coordinated effort among pro-Trump, far-right militia groups has surfaced, prompting officials in our area and beyond to ramp up efforts to prevent future attacks. What happens on January 6th cannot and must not ever happen again.